and welcome back to my channel. This is Jam Jam bringing to you the last leg of Discover Bhutan, Manas National Park. In our last journey, we ended our trip as we crossed over to the Indian side of Manas. For those of you who haven't seen my last video, the link is in the description down below. And if you haven't already, please smash the like button. Today you'll be joining me on an elephant ride, a jeep safari and more sightings of wildlife. The Indian Manas National Park is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Both the Bhutanese and Indian Manas is home to many wildlife, including numerous endangered species such as the South Asian River Dolphin, the Hispid Hare, Pygmy Hog, the famous Golden Langur, and the Bengal Tiger. We left behind the mighty Himalayas and descended to the Indian plains and now we're in the Indian state of Assam where the Indian Manas is located. If you all think the name sounds familiar, that's because Assam is home to the world famous tea gardens and is known for its black tea. We spent the night at Rhino Lodge which had very cheerfully coloured cottages. We woke up really early for the elephant ride as we were all very excited as none of us had ridden the elephant before and also our guide told us that early mornings are great for wildlife sightings. We bought a huge box of bananas to feed the elephants and we thought that would be enough but oh boy we were mistaken as the elephants gobbled them up in a span of a minute and kept asking for more. As we ventured deeper into the forest, we spotted a one-horned rhino and I was really excited as I've never seen a rhino before, not even in a zoo. Along the way, we spotted a group of swamp deers and a wild pig. The view from the back of an elephant is unparalleled to anything I've ever experienced. And the experience was made even more glorious by the beautiful sunrise in the distance, warming up the grasslands like a painting. It was a bittersweet moment as we said our goodbyes to the elephant as they dropped us off. Next up was the Jeep Safari. Unfortunately, we were not able to spot any wildlife as it was the weekend and there were many tourists in the park. However, we enjoyed the scenic views of the grassland and the jungle.
On our return journey, we took a different route to enter Bhutan. We drove west on the Indian highway for a few hours until we reached the city of Finsuling, the second biggest city in Bhutan and a major trade route to India. Driving on the Indian highway was definitely nerve-wracking and one needs to have nerves of steel because every few seconds you would see a car coming at you in the wrong direction or even people and cows jaywalking on the highway. It was definitely a welcome break to be back in Bhutan driving at 40 km per hour and not having to mentally battle the chaos of the Indian highways even as a passenger and also to enjoy the beautiful views of the plains below from the mountains. Thank you for taking this trip with me and I hope you had a fun ride. To see more videos on Bhutan, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comment section down below what topics you would like me to cover.